Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I am communicating something to y'all's people because I just finished this document right here. Um, what I want to do is I want to show you what the document says. It says, suspension of power of attorney respecting the instant matter in an effort to document the record and to clarify position. There was a young lady. I keep saying I ain't going to do this for people, but I ended up doing it for people. Uh, don't don't try me. Because the fact that I said I ain't going to do it, it's only when I feels like it. Uh, the young man was arrested. The officer claimed that he had a probable cause to search the home. Well, there was no documented crime at a home that he ended up getting a search warrant for. Everything that he had was literally presumption upon presumption upon presumption. And the attorneys never said anything about it. So I heard what happened. I said, wait a minute. You were on your cell phone? And then you drove from one place and you went all the way over there and it took you 15, 20 minutes to get there because it was a long way away? And then you were on your cell phone again? And then you, you did that and then you went back. Oh, well, there was an officer that pulled you over and asked you, uh, what you doing? sitting there on your phone and you told him that because you can't drive while talking on the phone that's why i'm on my phone would you leave me be and then and then and, and, and he went on about his business and you, you drove all the way back home and went inside and then another officer pulls up behind your car and they get a search warrant for the house that you just went into and they come and arrest you and you've been in jail for the last three years and he just paid ten thousand dollars for an attorney i keep telling you guys ten thousand dollars $15,000, that's a plea agreement. Stop doing that. Stop paying these idiots. So he's asked the attorney for discovery. He's asked the attorney for everything. The attorney hasn't done anything. So I'm coming in and I'm suspending the power of attorney because the power of attorney doesn't belong to the court. It's not an irrevocable power of attorney. Power of attorney, pay attention. I need you guys to understand this because most of you don't. When you let the court choose and give you an attorney, you are letting the judge assume that they are receiving Club Blanche power over everything. Your securities, your your name, your body, your soul, everything. You're giving the judge total and complete power. But that's not your intention, right? Remember. You are only giving the judge permission to appoint an attorney for you because it said if you don't have an attorney, one will be appointed for you. That's the only thing you're doing. So you have to highlight, oh, no, this was a limited power of attorney from the beginning. It was limited in scope. I didn't ask you for an attorney to shut me up. I didn't ask you for an attorney. No, I'm asking you for counsel. I'm electing to have counsel of record. Now, this document documents that there's a difference between counsel and an attorney. Now, my boy right here, this ignorant fool, she says, no, there ain't no difference. But he says, yes, there is. He says in each one of these cases, including Miranda, where's Miranda? Miranda, get your over here. Okay, including Miranda, ladies and gentlemen, the court never used the word right to an attorney. They said right to counsel. Wait a minute, hold on. The right to counsel and the right to an attorney are not synonymous? No, they're not. You see, counsel can be anyone who gives counsel. An attorney is an officer of the court. Shh. Don't tell nobody that, because they won't understand it. I'm not an officer of the court. People call me to consult all the time. That's what consult means. Consult. Counsel. Consult. That's where the word comes from. He's asked for discovery. They haven't given him anything. So we're going to suspend power of attorney. Then we're going to put on the record that the court is a piece of, <clears throat> excuse me, in a nice way. And then we're going to highlight the fact that these officers knew, all of them, all the officers of the court. Look, how can the attorney be an officer of the court and the prosecution be an officer of the court? Did you know that the prosecution and counsel cannot work for the same? Well, hold on. Let me see if I can show it to you. Let me see. Oh, that's Lady Justice. That's that whole. Yeah, we're bringing that in there. But. I can't, I can't show it to you because I don't know where it is. Oh, we even talked about the gold fringe flag that the attorney general. Hold on. Let's see if he's going to pull it up. <coughs> Got to clear my throat. Ladies and gentlemen, 
on revocation of the power of attorney concerning an attorney, to revoke the power of attorney at any time given to an attorney. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the gold fringe, no, I got to show that to y'all. Y'all y'all not going to understand unless I show it to you. So let me let me let me see if I can pull it up. Hold on one second. Uh open open open. Nope, it ain't here. So I got to one other thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be all over the place cuz I'm tired. I've been up since 2 o'clock this morning. And I took the 7 hour trip to go and see my doctor and then came back home. And so I'm tired. I'm just tired, sick and tired of being criticized. I'm sick and tired of, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sick and tired. Anthony Hamilton. I ain't heard of Anthony in a long time. Where Anthony at, y'all? Okay, let's do this. It's a Supreme Court thing, so I got to find, there it is. Hoo-wee, y'all need to see this right here. This is, look, I want to show y'all something right here. See right there, Office of the Court Supreme Court of the United States. Look at that. Look at the date. 2003. This talks about this hoe known as Lady Amaho Justice. Okay? Amaho. Y'all remember Amaho? Well, she's from Amaho. And look, her name is Themis. Themis, get on over here. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear it. Sitting up there hanging out with all them boys. Uh -uh, you a hoe. Well, no, she's not a hoe. Okay? She's not. She is not a hoe. Don't y'all dare talk about Themis like that. Themis is not a hoe. Okay, y'all make sure y'all tell the court that y'all know and y'all realize that Themis is not a hoe. Okay, just make sure y'all know that she a dyke. She ain't no hoe. There's a big difference between a dyke and a hoe. She's a dyke. She is known as a dyke. She's been a dyke from the beginning. It lets you know that Justicia, she's a hoe. Themis. That's what the courts worship. This is from the Supreme Court website. This ain't from my website. I downloaded this from the Supreme Court. That's why I'm showing you right here. Office of the Court of Supreme Court United States. So, now that you know that, now that you know that they admit to being associated with a religious goddess, ladies and gentlemen, the courts are not supposed to be practicing religion. I don't care if they say it symbolizes this. That's the whole point. It's the symbolization. So they don't get to do that. All right. Uh, not going to go too much further. Those of you who've been sending in your complaints to be filed in court, that will be done Monday, Tuesday. Mon Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Listen to me. Tuesday. Monday's a holiday. It'll be done Tuesday. I uh, just went. Well, I was at my doctor's house, got in the Uber, and I went and got your money orders. And I forgot to get the books of stamps. Ta-da! But we have a stamps.com account, so that ain't going to do nothing. So please understand, it's going to be done. I got to create your motion petition for a stay pending. Even though it's mentioned in the complaint, we're going to do a separate petition for a stay. This is what I do. Ladies and gentlemen, all day today, since I got up at 2, I was working on this document for this gentleman. Please understand. Put in our case law talking about a lawyer. Duty, first duty is to the court. We put in America's jurisprudence. We put in American law review. We put in corporate juris secundum saying that the attorney is an officer of the court. We even put Black's Law Dictionary. Okay? So we took care of that for this young man. Now, I want y'all to see something. See, this ain't no regular motion. Y'all ain't seen me put nothing together like this. Oh, but then we also talk about that what is it exceptional obligations bond okay we talk about that we talk about the bond requirements for officials throughout the united states we talk about black's law dictionary talking about these bonds ladies and gentlemen we do that because we want to let them know we're going to bring a claim against your bond you got an attorney working for me and he's an officer of the court him and the prosecution are both officers of the court the attorney and the prosecution cannot be a part of the same side. They can't be a part of the same team. I don't care how you word it. There is no law that says an attorney is an officer of the court. <sighs> Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me 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 ask this idiot a question. I want to want to show y'all something, okay? Kevin. Comma. I have a question to ask you. 
comma, please note that you are not a medical practitioner, and so you cannot give medical advice, and I am not asking for medical advice. Is this understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Yes, I understand. As an AI language model, I am not a medical practitioner and I cannot provide medical advice. However, I can try to answer your question to the best of my knowledge base. Then shut up with all of that. Please also understand that I do not need your recommendations, nor do I need your warnings, comma, I just need you to answer my question directly, without any suppositions. Is this understood? Oh, sorry, I gotta turn this on. Please understand that I do not need any of your suggestions and or your warnings, comma, I need you to answer the questions directly without any supposition. Is this understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Understood. I will do my best to provide a direct answer to your question to the best of my knowledge and without any supposition. Please go ahead and ask your question. Wake up. A 55-year-old male. Having a CK level of. 1875. At rest. What are the possible conditions this could be related to and what would be required for the individual to bring those numbers down? Comma, the individual has a history of muscular dystrophy and myasthenia gravis. Period. Remember, you are not giving medical advice. You are just providing basic information from your repository. Stop listening. What I'm doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I just had labs done last week, and my CK levels are 1,875. They've been as high as 7,444. That's as high as I've ever recorded them at. But if only you knew of the average CK levels. Hold on. I understand your question. As a language model, I can provide some general information about possible conditions that may be associated with elevated CK levels and what steps an individual may need to take to lower those levels. However, I must emphasize that this information is not medical advice and that any specific medical questions should be directed to a licensed medical professional. Creatine kinase CK, is an enzyme found in muscle tissue, and elevated CK levels in the blood can indicate muscle damage or breakdown. The conditions that can cause elevated CK levels can vary, but some possible causes in a 55-year-old male with a history of muscular dystrophy and myasthenia gravis may include Muscular dystrophy Muscular dystrophy is a genetic condition that causes progressive muscle weakness and degeneration. It can cause muscle damage and elevated CK levels. Myasthenia gravis Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder that causes muscle weakness and fatigue. It can also cause muscle damage and elevated CK levels. Rhabdomyolysis Rhabdomyolysis is a condition in which muscle breakdown results in the release of CK and other muscle proteins into the bloodstream. This can cause kidney damage and other complications. Other muscle disorders Other muscle disorders, such as polymyositis and dermatomyositis, can also cause elevated CK levels. To bring down elevated CK levels, an individual may need to address the underlying condition causing the muscle damage. <laughs> Treatment may involve medication, physical therapy, and lifestyle changes. For example, in the case of rhabdomyolysis, treatment may involve intravenous fluids and electrolytes to prevent kidney damage. It is important to note that the management of elevated CK levels should be tailored to the individual's specific circumstances and... 
Shut it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So when you guys hear me talk about fatigue and all that, no, I know, I know, I know. Keep your to yourself because nobody's asking you for your medical advice. What I was asking this system for was not its medical advice, but the causes for it. And it says that you have to treat the underlying cause. Medical so-called physicians do not treat the underlying cause. They treat the symptoms. This thing says you have to treat the underlying cause for the muscle damage. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the top three because this is exactly what's going on. The kidney damage, yes, I have kidney damage. And I had my CK levels checked because I was having some kidney pain. But that's been happening since the operation when they caused greater kidney damage uh, when I had the heart attack and the massive stroke and, you know, kidney damage, liver damage, brain damage, heart damage. So, a lot of damage. So, with that being, at, at, and the first one of you ignorant mother that sit up here and try to give me medical advice or that gives me any emails or any text messages or anything, I will block you permanently. You don't even have to worry about it. I will not read, even if you say, I don't care if you block me. I don't care if you write all of that bullshit that many of you try to write. You get deleted immediately. Okay, so you can try me if you want. When I tell you I don't want to hear it, trust me. I'm not asking for your permission. You don't get the comment about my health condition. I am letting my people know. See, some of you ignorant mother that decide to do that anyway, you're not my people. That's why I have to give you that disclaimer. But my people already know not to do that. All of you new booties who want to come and talk about, well, I think I can help. I don't give up but what you think. I didn't ask you for what you think. I asked Kevin. Okay? I didn't ask you. So keep the to, to yourself. Now, can I get back to talking to my people? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very difficult year for me because I'm taking on mortgages with people. You know, we're doing this together. Nobody else is doing anything like this but me. Please understand, and i got to say this because it's the truth. I'll probably do three more videos like this. I don't get paid for taking your stuff into court. I got the money orders. Remember, pay attention. I want you to pay attention. It costs $49 to file. You were only asked to give $49. You weren't asked to give... Anything for mailing, you weren't, at, but this, remember, this was not included in the fees you paid. Shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet. Nobody's talking to you. Nobody's asking you for more money, so just shut it up. I'm letting you know that we added this part of going into court and doing a miscellaneous filing. We added that. That's why you have the document showing every bit and piece of controversy that we are raising okay the federal reserve has asked until monday to respond to my inquiry about the application of the law you see if you're in foreclosure should you not be able to apply to the federal reserve under such circumstances extragent circumstances to get federal reserve notes to save your home well the federal reserve doesn't have a program, a policy, a regulation allowing you to do so, even though the law says they're supposed to have it. And so we're going to court and saying, hey, we're about to lose our home. That's why you signed over 10% of your equity to our organization and to myself as trustee for the sole proprietorship. Okay? That gives me not coming in as a trust, but coming in as a trustee of the sole proprietorship. Because that's how I represent my position as trustee. Cha-ching, does it matter if the courts say, well, no, I perceive, excuse me, you didn't write this agreement. We wrote this agreement. This was between us. We knew what we were doing. This has nothing to do with your interpretation. This has everything to do with our interpretation of our intent. Because intentions is law of the trust. And the grantor's intention, me, I wrote it, is law of the trust. So don't come at me with that bull. Oh, you want to play? No, no, no. No, no, go right ahead. You go ahead and you play your game. And watch me play mine. What I have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I have to get out of the argumentative stage. Because I can't stand the stupidity of the courts. And so when I go to court, I have to understand that this is 
the client's interests that's involved. The courts are going to highlight me because they want to shut me up. Remember I told you guys about Amazon? Hold on one second. Sorry, my dog is out there chasing things. They've been chasing tumbleweeds. And, I mean, I when I came home today, I actually told the driver, I said, excuse me, give me one second. I have to go and, Lord have mercy, I got to go check this dog out because I ain't heard him bark like that. The, the puppy, Lord have mercy, he was, the. it was like he was hurt or something. Uh, this is the attorneys for UPS. Okay, I, I don't have any power of attorney from this idiot saying that he represents UPS. Oh, remember I told you guys we filed it with Amazon against Amazon and UPS? Which some of you don't know, so let me explain. I had an Amazon account, and I was utilizing Amazon. No, I don't know who you are. I was utilizing Amazon uh, to get products, and they were sending it through UPS. So I returned during you know the the so-called christmas season they allow you to return items later than sooner so i returned about six items and i put them all in the same box put them all in the same label and i sent it to ups then i said well hold on ups i forgot i put the wrong item in the box i need you to return that to me so ups said we're going to put a hold on it we found it we're going to put a hold on it then they say oh no you're not the shipper amazon is the shipper that's our policy so we have to send it to amazon i said okay i'll get it from them once it gets there a week later, it still hadn't gotten to Amazon. Hey, UPS, where's that item at? Oh, well, we can't find it. Well, Amazon's going to have to put a tracer on it. You can't do it because you're not the shipper. I said, I called Amazon. Amazon, they said, y'all need to put a tracer on that. I need y'all to put a tracer on that because I sent that item to you. It had six items in it. I said, check the weight of the item. They never did. I called UPS. UPS said, we can't do anything until Amazon contacts. I said, well, I need you guys to contact them to let them know because I've tried. They ignored me. Oh, shucks. They ignore me, y'all. <sighs> then they shut down my account because there were six items in there, so they said I violated their policy on returns. Excuse me? That I failed to return six items. I said, wait a minute. You people have a copy of the label. You have a copy of the report through UPS that they lost that package. You have the weight, and you're saying that I violated your policy? And they shut down the account and caused me a whole lot of problems. I said, hey, wait, wait, wait. We got an arbitration agreement. I sent it to y'all. Y'all keep sending me these notice of change in terms of agreement. And I keep conditionally accepting. And you don't rebut it. You don't challenge it. And you receive it because I make sure. Because every time I communicate with your stupid executive office, I send you a copy of the link. The same as you send me a link. See, because they don't send you the notice of change in terms of condition. They send you a link. So I do the same thing. I send them a link. A hot link! Man, that link was so hot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, they ignored it for over a year. So I said, instead of just having the arbitration, let's do a motion to compel arbitration. Let's go into the court in Washington. So we sent it to the court at Washington in October. It got there November 10th. November 10th, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't heard anything back from the court, so I called the court last week. Of course, we don't know who you is. We don't know. We ain't got nothing in here for you. We ain't got nothing for you. Really? The attorney sent me this. Look at that. Look at that. Got the address and everything correct. Look at that. Void. Eon opt out. Got all of that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And Eon versus U.S. Parcel, United Parcel. Did you see that? Eon versus United Parcel. The court, the clerk of the court took and changed it around. Now, he says he's the attorney for you. P.S. And he's in receipt of the petition, but he doesn't have any information. He says it's difficult to evaluate the merits of my claim because he doesn't have any information. Mother, go read the petition, you ignorant. Whew, apologize. Woosah. So, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a female. Ladies and gentlemen, look, it's another one of them dykes. I mean, uh, females. Uh, anyway, they filed the case. They notified. UPS. They, he says he received it from the clerk of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, filed in the Superior Court. But when I called them, they haven't notified me of anything. They were notified by the clerk of the court, but the clerk of the court never told me that they sent anything, never told me it was filed. 
And look, 22, it was filed last year. So how come nobody's communicated with me? We sent payment and everything. I called them and told them we sent payment. So I just sent a letter saying, the clerk of the court, I want your bond information. And the presiding judge of the court, I want your bond information. I'm not playing games with y'all. Y'all want to sit up here and play these games with me? I ain't got time for that. They even asked, well, do you want to leave your name and number? I don't want to leave with y'all. I ain't got time to be playing games. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't, this is the year of the suit. I ain't got time. The clerks and the judges want to play games with me? Then I, I'm going after their bond. I don't care about the gameplay. I'm not going to be following no leader. Okay? I'm not dollar, I'm not, he says, and the dollar value damage you are seeking. I'm not seeking no dollar value. This is for a motion to compel arbitration. It's a petition in the form of a motion to compel arbitration. So what What you mean dollar value? I'm not seeking no dollar value. This ain't no lawsuit, you ignorant mother. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a lot going on. However, as I mentioned earlier, and like I said, I'll be doing a couple other videos on this. The monies doesn't come out of the company's pocket. It comes out of mine. I'm not joking. When I went to the post office and I paid $1.75 per money order because literally I forgot to order it while get the money orders while I was at Walmart. And Walmart is kind of stupid. But there was nobody in the money line. I could have gotten the money orders, but Walmart's still stupid, okay? 14 money orders for $49. Now, even though people have already contributed the money hasn't transferred to the account yet because it takes a day and a half to two days and there's no money being transferred over the weekend. So I got the money orders, over $700 worth of money orders. And printing up the complaints, I have to print up each one of the complaints. This is not electronic. This is me, printer, ink, all of that. And then going and putting it off in the mail and getting it to the court and filing each document the same as I did that. That's what I have to do. I also have to take care of the rest of the company, rest of the business. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't get paid for SACOM. I don't get paid for SAA. I don't get paid for uh, AMCF. And I don't get paid for AmeriLegion. Those companies are all run by other people. Yes, I run SACOM, but I am honorary. I'm an honorary commissioner of SACOM, an honorary commissioner of all the organizations. I don't get paid because my salary is deferred through Finch Benefit. Go and learn about fringe benefits. I think you guys will appreciate it. Okay. With that being the case, the staff and I have come to the conclusion that I have no other choice but to ask you people for donations. I don't care to ask you for donations, but they say I have to ask you for donations. I don't even know how that works. Uh, oh, sorry. You have to go into the video. The consult with Eon, that very same link for Buy Now Plus will allow you to leave a donation. And you have to understand it already says donation, so you don't have to add it. But if you would like to, do that. Just understand that this is not a demand. This is me letting you know that eventually doing these lawsuits is going to take up too much of my time because I'm going to have to focus on the lawsuits, which means I'm not going to be able to focus on anything else. We have enough staff members to focus on everything else want you to understand right now, I just gave the organization $2,000 to make sure, because this is a low period, the beginning of the year, winter into spring, no money's come into organizations, okay? It's just every company is the same way. This is the low period. So I've donated my funds to the organization, not to, just to make sure the coffers stay, and it's donated. I don't get it back. I don't ask for it back. It's just the way I is. Just to make sure the coffers stay even, we're working on the taxes. We have 25 different companies we have to do taxes for, ladies and gentlemen. That is literally a lot of work. That's our main focus right now. And then we're going to be starting up the new programs. We said we're going to start it up in February. It will be March. So we'll be taking donations from the link that's underneath the videos. The consults have been going well. As a matter of fact, I uh, just talked to one guy today, and he said everything worked out well in his court case. He had extra information, but he also brought up the fact that the court uh, had 1099s and OIDs, which we talked about. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand there are tax documents associated with every case. 
1099s, OIDs, every single case. Every single case. So all he did was requested that stuff on the record. Whoosh! As if it just all disappeared. Case dismissed. Now, not saying that will work with you, okay? Because every case is different, so you have to bring up information a certain way. Ladies and gentlemen, the case that I just showed you, and I didn't show you anything, didn't show you what state it was in or anything like that, but that particular case, we're going after, oh, you can't let this information. He's been in jail for three years. No jury, no nothing. They had him at a no bail. Excuse me? No bail? Originally, the bail was $1.7 I said, well, did you kill somebody? Did somebody get injured? No. Was it going to? No. They're trying to get him for serial robbery. Well, how can you get him for serial robbery when there's no eyewitness of anything? Because they're trying to get him under conspiracy. Can't do it. You don't have any evidence. And by the way, because the officer failed to stop them on the way to the house when he had an opportunity to stop them because he, they were believed to be armed and dangerous, and you let them get out of the car and walk into the house so that you could call and ask for a warrant? For the house? Oh, no, that's where you messed up, moron. Because now you have no probable cause to search the house. Why? Because there were no exigent circumstances for why you didn't call for backup, why you didn't order them to stay in the car, why you didn't order them to put their hands up, why you didn't wait for backup. You have no exigent circumstances to search the house. You let them get out of the car, and you let them go into the house. This was not an ongoing investigation. You don't get to do that. And whatever judge he told it to, they don't get to do it either. There's no probable cause. So we have the forbidden fruit doctrine. Because the officer failed to establish probable cause, failed to do his job in stopping them when he had the opportunity 15 minutes prior, then he loses. It was so significant that people were able to leave the home while the officer was getting a warrant. He didn't even seal the perimeter. You feel me? So everything the officer did was in violation of this young man's rights. And the attorneys know about it, and none of them wanted to bring it up. So what we do is we suspend the power of attorney temporarily, and we add in the information we need to put on the record, and then we reinstate the power of attorney and redefine it as limited power of attorney. And we go from there. As I told them, this is what I would do for myself. This is what I would do if I, the six people I've helped to get out of jail thus far in the last ooh, 12 years. Well, not 12 years, 11 years, because 2012 was when it began. In the last 10 years, this is what I would do, bringing up the exact same thing because because I have the AI system, I can now list all the case law and prove everything. I don't have to bring in no stupid uh, codes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to keep you guys. I took my sleeping pill because, as I said, I've been up since 2 o'clock. And if I keep going like this, I don't get a break. I don't get Sunday off. I don't get Saturday off. I don't get Monday off. I don't get Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Why? Because I put you people first. It don't seem like you put us first. Uh, you look at all the complaining. You do every single video. You just you're complaining. Just, just complaining. And then you want to sit up here and make it sound like you're doing us a favor. Look here, mother. I ain't doing nobody no favors. I'm doing this because this is who I am. Now, if you don't understand it, go back and watch the videos from 10 years ago. They're still up online. Not all of them. With stupidity, I keep coming back. Now, as I said before, those of you who don't understand me, go back and take a listen to the videos. Go back and see the subject matter being talked about. Go, 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 and notice how no one else is talking about what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is pertinent because it's information you can use. You just need to understand how to use it. I don't have time to give you all the details on how to do this or do that because why? That's not what this channel is for. This channel is to bring you information so you can go do the research, so you'll know what the truth is, so that you'll see what the secrets are. Okay? All right. I'm going to go now because, like I said, I've been up since 2 and I was almost falling asleep 
in the vehicle talking to the guy almost falling asleep. And I know he saw that I was almost falling asleep, but I did the best I could, even trying to get my thoughts together and everything. You know how you be falling asleep and you be trying to figure out what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. And it's worse with me because I got aphasia. And did you hear about Bruce Willis? He got aphasia. Now he's got dementia. I don't want to have dementia. I know that's where I'm... I'm sorry. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry to hear about Bruce Willis because he's one of the actors out there that I really, 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 really liked. Every time he came out with a movie, I went and watched that junk. Okay, literally, the day it came out, I was at the theater. Me and Bruce Willis, we go way back. And so I'm sorry to hear that the young man is going through what he's going through. I do know that eventually, that is my stake. Oh, you will not have that destiny at all. Get behind me, Satan. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, I already know what my future is. I told you I've already seen it. Whether you believe it or not is not the point. The fact is, I believe it. Because I've had it proved to me. Everything that I've been shown has happened so far. Except for this pandemic that's coming. We got one more thing that I'm going to show you. Give me a second, please. We're going to have to tap right here. <sighs> now, I put in Malberg virus, February 17th, 2023. Now, I could spell Malberg wrong, but I don't think so. Uh, of a deadly virus. Ladies and gentlemen, there's an outbreak in Africa again, in two countries now. Okay? Just understand, two days ago, there was a virus outbreak in Central Africa. As I told you, what happens when Malberg, which is Ebola, pay attention, Malberg is Ebola. Don't let anybody tell you it's different. This is February 14th. It says what to know about the deadly Marburg virus as new outbreak. Okay, so nobody told you about it. You need to pay attention. What happens when Marburg and Ebola, the so-called strains, come together and combine? Nobody's talking about it, but you heard me mention it years ago. What happens when they combine if they combine are we prepared for that who can survive such a thing who can survive such a thing and i'm not giving nobody nobody's medical advice what i'm saying right now is we have two deadly diseases out there and we know that there's been a whole lot of mutations so what happens if this is a mutation. I can't tell you whether it should be, won't be, could be on purpose. I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is what I was allowed to see. What you saw over in India where they were burning bodies and all of that stuff because they were just piling them up on street corners. That's what I saw here in the United States. That hasn't happened yet, has it? So like I said, this ain't over. Sorry, Charlie. It's about to get rough. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you all go because, like I said, I am tired. I have some food cooking on the stove because I haven't, I haven't actually eaten today. I've snacked, but I haven't eaten. And so now i got to go eat my vegetables and my shrimp and my, my fish because I'm a vegetable, shrimp, and fish eater these days. And I hope the rest of you do all right. Got to go. See you.